Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Ivan. And in today's tutorial, we want to take a look into how do you create a Notion habit tracker just like this one that you're seeing right now. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Now, the very first thing that we want to do is create a new database. We're going to call, we're just going to type slash database and we're going to create a inline database just like this one. And we're going to call it, I don't know, habit tracker 2023 slash 2024. Okay, now the very first thing that we're gonna get clear is how many habits do you wanna track? In my case, there are four habits that I wanna track specifically, but in your case, it might vary. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is to get rid of this tax property and we'll add a new one called, in my case, the first one will be a checkbox property. This, every single habit will be a checkbox because we wanna check them each time we complete them. But in my case, this one, the first one, we're gonna call it exercise we're going to choose an icon that has something to do with exercise in this case i'm gonna get this person running icon on this one and yeah that's it now we want to do this step for every single habit that we will attract so in my case i will create three more and as you can see on the screen i have created three more habits in this case they're taking creatine meditation and projects personal projects that i want to improve on so what do we do from now the second step that we want to do is to create a habit tracker formula if you want to call it that and it is basically a progress bar that will track how many habits have we completed today so how do we do that the first thing that we want to do in order to accomplish that is to go and add a formula property and then we'll call it progress for example and we'll make it a bar let's see if we have a bar icon now we'll make it a circle that would be easier for us okay and now we're going to edit the formula. This might be daunting at first if you don't know anything about Notion formulas, but don't you worry, this formula, I will leave it down in the description below. So what you want to do is go into edit formula and then we're going to paste the code that I have left for you on the description. In my case, it's going to appear like something like this. In your case, you may want to replace the meditation projects, exercise and creatine properties for the ones that you have created for yourself, the habits that you created. And you can also add more properties just by copying and pasting, just like this. But in my case, I'm gonna, I'm only gonna track four of my habits, so there's that. We're gonna click on done, and that's it. And then the important part here is we wanna show this as a bar or as a ring, anything you want, really. In my case, I like the bar, progress bar better. So um, here down below, divide by four, because we only have four habits. Divide by four, and that's it. So we're just gonna click and drag, we're gonna make it smaller. This way, it'll be easier for us to click on each of these habits when we complete them. Now, the question that you might be asking yourself is, do I have to click on new every single time that I wanna track a new day? Is there any way to make this automatic? Well, I'm glad you asked because there is. We wanna create a new template and then on the title section, we wanna type option two. This is the app option and we're gonna to type today. Okay, now. What this will do is that every single time that a new template creates itself, because we, we want it to create itself automatically, it will set the day, it will set the title to the day that it was created. So we'll set it to today and then we'll make it, yeah, I, I think that's it, that's it. If you wanna create a section for the things that you wanna write, you can also do that, but we're not gonna do that in today's tutorial. So we're just gonna click out of it and then we're gonna set it so that it repeats every single day at 12 a.m. So every single day, it will start to create a new one. So we're gonna repeat every single day and at the time of 12 a.m. and that's it, okay. Now that we have partially created our Notion Habit Tracker, you may be wondering, well, this is all good and fine, but it's not the most aesthetically pleasing option. What other options do we have? Well, let me tell you, there are two more. The first one that we're gonna go into is the calendar view. So to get started, the first thing that we wanna do is create another property, which is called created date, created time. This will show us the time that this page was created. So we're gonna type on it and we're gonna go into full date. In my case, I prefer the date, month, year option better. So I'm just gonna click on it. And if you don't like it, you can hide it in view, but we're gonna use it later. So. The next thing that we want to do is create a new view. So we're going to go into here, we're going to call it calendar and we're going to click on the calendar and that show calendar as, in my case, I prefer the week option better just because I can get a glance of all the habits that I have done for each week and not the entire month because it is too long in my opinion. So we're just going to click on done 
And as you can see, it will show us a bunch of tabs that are not really relevant to us because we cannot complete our task here. So what we'll do is to go on to edit the properties. And as you can see, there are zero properties shown. So we're gonna click on creatine. We wanna show the creatine habit, the exercise habit, the meditation, the progress bar, and the projects. In my case, I like to have the progress bar at the bottom. This way I can see it better. And we're just gonna click out of this. And then as you can see, it'll show us our day by day habits that we have, and we can complete them in this view like this. We can click on them and the progress bar will actually show. But I have clicked on too many of those. So I'm just gonna delete this because it will get too messy. Okay, now here it is. Now that we have this for every single day of our week, it will create itself every single time that we hit a new day at 12 a.m. So um, if we are getting onto Saturday the 4th, it will create a new one on Sunday the same. Now the third view that we want to create, and it is the one that I have on default on my personal Notion Habit Tracker. So this one is my favorite and it's called the Gallery View. So we're just going to take the same steps as before. We're going to cl click on the plus icon and we're going to call it a um, Gallery View. We'll call it Gallery like this. And we're going to, the card preview, we want to set it on None. You'll see why in a moment and the card size we're going to set it to small just so that it doesn't occupy, uh, occupy as much space as it does this way we can see our daily habits better and we're going to click on done and we're going to go into property shown as you can see it is only showing the name of our page so we want to show the habits that we have we are tracking so in my case it is exercise creatine meditation progress and projects so we're going to drag the progress down below just so that we can see it better and it'll show us something like this now we're going to go into smaller details like setting the icon in my case i like to i would like something like this like a computer guy and then we're going to add a cover as you can see on my notion habit tracker i have a moving cover so how do you do this well it is not officially on the notion website it is not from the native notion app but there's a way around this and what i'm using here is actually a link to a gif so how do we accomplish something like this well in my case where i like to get all of my gifs is on gify.com and here we have a bunch of options for you to choose from we can search for something like i don't know gradient which is let's see this one i really like this is very similar to the one i have right now so we're going to click on share we're going to copy the gif link and then we're gonna go into our notion and then change cover the link and we'll paste the link that we have copied previously and then we'll click on submit and as you can see it will show us the gift that we have copied another feature that i have implemented into my own notion habit tracker is the ability to create new buttons so that every single time that i click on those buttons it will actually just click on each of my habits on that day of that day and it will check this for me so that i don't have to go and click on the checkboxes itself it's just another little thing to improve my habit tracker so the way to do it is to just type in button and then we'll edit pages in select database we'll go into the habit tracker that we have created and then edit a property we'll set the creatine let's say creatine we'll set it to checked we're going to go into filter and then we're going to select the created time that we have created previously this property that is not shown but it's there we're going to use it when created time is custom day no it's today okay and that's it we're going to call it the i don't know creatine okay what's what's the icon that we have set previously let's say creatine this one and as you can see i will uncheck this one and every single time that we hit the button it'll actually just click that checkbox for us and you want to do this for every single new habit that you create so in case you have followed these steps properly you will have something looking like this okay this is the exercise that we have done today so we're just going to click it to check it and it is already checked okay the personal projects one the meditation the creatine and as you can see it doesn't check the ones from previous days but it checks the ones from today Another thing that I like to do on my habit tracker is to actually get a graph like this one so that I can see the actual progress that I made. 
on my daily habits and as you can see it's not looking very well right now there are a couple of days that i failed a little bit but you can get something like this from chartbase which is the service that i'm using right now this one is free but you have a lot more paid options but this one's completely fine and that's pretty much it this was how to create a notion habit tracker inside of notion so if you like this type of videos please click like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one